Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this series, you're going to learn how to build a newsletter platform. So this is where you could have creators or authors come on and sell access to their newsletters. There's lots of existing platforms like this that you can go check out like Substack or Beehive. But what we're going to do is build from scratch a newsletter platform using Ruby and Rails. And in this series, you'll learn all of the different bits and pieces for Stripe Connect and how you need to store things in your database, set up authentication, handle webhooks. We're going to talk about connect onboarding. We're also going to talk about how we might model the database so that it works for uh, storing these newsletter issues so that people can come back and read them from the site later. In this series, we're also going to use Stripe Checkout to start a subscription for the reader. So when the reader comes and wants to subscribe to a certain creator's newsletter, they will create a new subscription using Stripe Checkout. And then we're gonna use the customer portal in order for those readers to manage their subscription so they can cancel or pause. But in this first episode, what we're gonna do is go through some planning. All right, so let's start talking about maybe some features and some modeling. I think we're gonna have the concept of a reader. This is gonna be someone who wants to receive the newsletter, a newsletter, or it could be like one or many, one or many newsletter, many newsletter issues. And we're going to call it an, we'll call it an issue when that's like the individual email that the newsletter reader is going to receive. So we're going to have the concept of a newsletter, and this is really just going to have the topic or subject and an author. For this use case, we're only going to have one author per newsletter, but you could imagine the scenario where you have teams, but for, yeah, so we're going to have a newsletter issues and this is going to be, we'll have a subject, we'll have some body of the newsletter email that's being sent, or we'll also have an author and a like published at. We might also even have like, some visibility, whether that's like private or protected or public or something. So like maybe you could imagine a, maybe even like draft and then protected, meaning like you have to pay to see it or public, which might be like your teaser content that anyone can see. We'll also, we're going to have authors. So an author is someone who writes and sends newsletter issues. And in this use case, we're going to use a single user model. And that user model will represent both authors and readers. So you can be an author who has a newsletter and you're going to send that newsletter, but you can also with that same account subscribe to and be a reader of other people's newsletters. So we're going to reuse that same concept. So we're going to have like this user, this is going to be like the authenticated user. We're also going to have some representation of a customer, a Stripe customer object. So a customer is going to be the reference to the object inside of Stripe that keeps track of all of our subscriptions and payments that we are spending money to subscribe to newsletters. So this is going to be like a reference to our Stripe customer, which keeps track of our subscriptions and past payments. This will probably, yeah, this is going to be like related to a user. So a for each individual user, we'll have just a single cu Stripe customer or a single customer model, like a one-to-one -one relationship. We're going to keep this customer separate so that we can keep track if the if for some reason they want to delete their customer account or whatever, we can have many customers for a given user. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so then we're also going to have the concept of a an account. I don't know if we want to call this a merchant account, a payout account. This is like the payments account so that authors can receive payment from their end customers. So this is the this is like a reference to our or to the author's Stripe account, which enables them to receive payment. We're also going to have, what are we gonna have? Oh, I, we're gonna have to have some webhook events separate from the domain model, but I wanna have an event model. This is going to have stores the data from a webhook payload. We'll process webhook events in the background and we'll kind of build out a whole webhook routing system for those. And I'm trying to think of any other things that we might want. So let's also talk about features. So this is more like the domain model. And then we have some features. So things that we might want to add to our system. So we need a way or like sign up, sign 
in sign out. We also need some way to create a newsletter. We need a way to author and send a newsletter issue. We need a way to subscribe to a newsletter and we need a way to view past newsletter issues. We need some like background job service. We need yeah a webhook handler so that we can build automations based on what's happening. We need some sort of payment flow. This is like also like part of the subscribing to a newsletter. And then we also need Stripe account setup for payouts. So a payout is when Stripe is sending money to your bank account. And then a payment is where money is coming in. So let's actually say an an account is a reference to the author Stripe account, which enables them to receive payouts to their end bank account. What else might we want? We're also going to have this is so this bit here will be Stripe Connect onboarding. And yeah, I think it's probably also worth talking a little bit about Stripe Connect and the different choices that we're going to need to make. So we'll talk about that when we get to this, the, the step where we need to create these accounts. All right. I think this is a pretty good start. We're going to have a newsletters controller, a newsletter issues controller. We're going to have a way to subscribe. We probably want to ideally separate out the experience that an author has from the experience that a reader has. But for now, we'll keep this pretty simple. And oh, we're also going to want billing management, which we're going to use the Stripe customer portal for. This is just, it'll be a simple button where users can click on manage billing. It'll redirect them to the Stripe customer portal. They can view their past invoices and update payments, et cetera. Okay, what else might we want here? Oh, we probably want to, yeah, authoring a newsletter issue is gonna be one thing, but like sending a newsletter issue will be another thing. And this will also in involve two things like local mailers and um, integrating with SendGrid. So SendGrid is a service by Twilio. And so we'll use SendGrid in order to actually deliver those newsletter issues to people who have subscribed. Okay, I think this is a pretty good start. So stick around in the next episode, we're gonna break ground, create a brand new Rails app. We'll use Tailwind, we're gonna use a little bit of hot wire. We're going to use Tailwind UI specifically. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. So stick around for the next episode and we'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.